before you do split the party, uh, any of them, you want to have your first character slot one selected because they will be brought in as I'll demonstrate right here. Split the party three. And so Orakira is already brought in because slot three. That's what you want to make sure you get the right champion set up um, because they are brought in by default. And if you have someone that you don't like, it makes that very difficult. Um, so you're going to have to farm a little bit of uh, gold here. Um, slowly taking out the enemy. So have Talon unlocked. Yeah, he's probably good for now. You do need a tank early on. So that might be good. So uh, let's get some background. There we go. But yes, uh, so the real setup early on is we might be farming a bit of gold uh, at area one or two. The main sticking point is around 13, the boss there. And then of course the last transition when you gotta make sure your champions are left. So we'll see how this goes because the health is substantial when they start out here. You can see that with the click damage. And that's also why having uh, first slots picked out early is critical. You want a tank, a healer, you know, some type of damage dealer. Talon uh, has a stall ability with tax on the ground, so that's going to come in a little bit later but trying some of that stuff to delay them to get more attacks in is kind of what's going on there. Still no tank, but we're keeping them at bay. So if that's not the case, then we'll have to drop back. But this is uh, going pretty good so far. Click damage only works to area five. Uh, fire breath potions cannot be used and uh, once champions placed cannot be removed swapped or removed um, and so that's why it's so critical to get your slot one champion chosen correctly before you start your adventure because they're brought in by default then in 13 27 and 37 areas 70% of the champions in your active formation are removed. And so uh, you definitely want tank, healer, etc. But you want them to be more or less disposable on the first setup and get as few in there as, as needed to clear the areas. That's the real trick with 13. Still no tank, but you know, that's okay. Yeah, this is a bit of a doozy here. Um, oh, there we go. Got a bunch of folks now. Still need the slot cleared though. Well. Get some space in there. Um, hmm. Jarlaxle maybe.
Don't want to add too many, but I know I'm going to need a few in there to get things started. There we got tax active. Uh, just try and get more damage dealers out there right now, even though they're not necessarily DPS, etc. Because you gotta hit often enough to clear that, especially because click damage is not doing anything at this point. Does help with picking everything up, I guess. But outside of that, um... Should be two slots. But there we go. Or column in front. Uh, shield is two slots, I think. Might need a different healer than um, Orkira. And so um, that's why I'm not placing everyone in just yet. So you have some options, You're trying to give it some flexibility. Or like I can use Calliope with a, a shield so I can move, swap them, and uh, have Calliope healed, but then uh, by Orkira, but uh, Calliope placing that shield on Orkira or the other champions. So we're doing good so far. We'll see how this next uh, jump, where we in three levels or areas, lose champions. starting to accumulate and using the ultimates to clear it so might need a few more champions just to hit often enough but it looks like we're doing okay Hey, Letty. Yes, uh, Gearless split the party three. So 
we'll see how this is going. It's better than I expected. That could be due to some of the uh, perks and stuff that I've acquired since uh, Split the Party 2. But we have the big cut coming up pretty soon. And so then getting past that... Um, uh, if I recall, it's like a tree thing that attacks the whole party, so I might have to swap Calliope and Orkira to get protection uh, and shields correct. Um, but we'll see how that goes. I'm trying to set up with as few champions as possible uh, for this cut but it gets a little tricky getting enough damage done uh, and the enemies not getting to your tank line. Oh, and the stats above me I just updated, uh, so they are current for my main account. Egg variant for Mert was very tough. Uh, with 10.50, and those restrictions, I ended up using Blushi and um, Spurt actually, killing him off uh, to get enough damage through. It required E316, I think, something in that range to get through it. So we're getting, we've got enough damage, but they're hitting the tanks. Slightly annoying, but we'll get through this. Uh, So, um, Orkira's leveled it up enough and that shield's active, so, um, it's more a battle of attrition at this 13 point, but I really don't want to drop in more, more units, um, just to have them wiped out in the next area. <laughs> Seventy percent, seventy percent. Look at that. <laughs> Back to the beginning. <laughs> I never you. I never lose the slot one character. Um, I don't know why that is. But so far, they always stay in. Um, oh gosh, who do I bring in now? Uh, I need a tank that I don't mind losing. Yeah, maybe it's just the luck, but you would think with three cuts, I had Deacon in for all of... I mean, you can look it up. I split the party two on YouTube. Um, and Deacon's in there the entire time, even though that's a 60% cut per segment. And he just hangs around, if I recall correctly. Um, Sentry? Iconia for healing or cure or something might be good. Um, Uh, 
Nahara, I guess, for some extra hit DPS, but, you know, it's going to be disposable at that point. Um, this is the hard part, because you know they're going to disappear, so it's like, who do you pick? <laughs> Because I know I'm going to need more units in there. Not necessarily a full party, but more units in there. Um, Let's see how that goes. Well, more than I would like to use, but I think it'll be okay. Not enough damage. Oh, there we go. See, <laughs> it's like a fire breath potion going on now. And now we can get some extra levels with the gold we've acquired. There we go. Yeah, yeah, the tree is the main concern, and I'm not too worried about it. Um, but it's just, I know I'm going to need more units to get through it. Because Orkira is healing, healing most... Um, uh, uh, Fornica uh, to heal the lowest champion 50%, so um, Orkira is covered for back healing with that um and then i have penelope out there uh stunning and uh basically rooting them down so they don't get too close so i don't think it's an issue even if they do get close but it's just trying to keep them at bay um preemptively so it looks like it's working pretty well uh oh, there's a low hit but Overall, it's working uh, very well. There we go. That was that was one of the hardest parts of these runs. Clear that, and the rest is pretty easy, uh, as long as you don't get stuck with bad champions. But with 70% being removed, um, the likelihood that anyone's going to stick around is pretty slim. So. So I think it was 26, no, 27. Yeah, so 10 more areas. Yeah, yeah, that one was actually fairly easy. Um, I was expecting hit more of the party, but I only saw a few hits on Penelope and Nahara, as I uh, recall. But... 
There could have been others, but that was just the red numbers I saw pop up on them. It was like 57 points of damage or something. It was very tiny, so didn't get any enrage stacks or anything like that by keeping it at bay, and so that helped as well. When that tree gets uh, enraged, um, it can be nasty. Also, like, E41 gold already. <laughs> Just, like, area 18, E41 gold. <laughs> what? I know the scaling's different, but it's always just... It, it's so hard to begin with when you're, like, try and kill the thing and you get two gold and, and they take 20 hits to die and then you get past halfway through and, and you're at E... E43 gold or whatever and uh, halfway to soft cap <laughs> they still have quite a bit of health uh, six, 65 yeah but like I don't even have a full formation here so and with uh, the tank here, you get uh, all d increases damage of all champions behind by based on divine prayer. So uh, you get a lot more damage there and increases the effect of divine prayer by 100 for each enemy attacking uh, or each enemy in rage stack. So that's why I chose them as a tank because. The enemies that are attacking build up the damage, so, um, and with the healing I have going on, damage should not be an issue, or cure, or cure is here, uh, healing a thousand, uh, and they hit for like a hundred, <laughs> so. Because before I had, uh, my tank was, um, Nayeli, which is great early on, but does not have that ability to increase damage. Um, for Trials, uh, the gearless run is kind of stalled out. Not that I don't want to do more, but really I'm limited to like T6. I mean, that's still area 600 gearless. It's just getting to 700. I can do that, but to do that day after day with multiple restrictions is not really practical. Um, plus, I have like no use for the scales. Thus, I didn't get a refund. Um, so, uh, almost EO5 on scales though. So that that's something. Seventy four, and I'm at seventy two. Okay, might need a boost. Um, Yeah, um, the main account doing, looks like might be going to T10. Um, I don't really see an issue with it, but on my main, I also have uh, my legendaries on Zorbu as 17, 17, 17, 9, 9, and 10. So, um, <laughs> which 
his level 17 ones are like increases the damage of all good champions increases the damage of uh, male champions increases or sorry not male that's the nine uh, 17 is uh, each champion with a con of 13 or higher uh, adds um, E06% damage. So. And so I use him for DPS, but you look at his high level legendaries, and they help uh, potentially the, uh, the group. So. Um, I mean, yes, primarily they are focused for him. Like his lower one, E9, I think it is, increases the damage of gnome champions. <laughs> Not very helpful for a lot of folks, but you know. So we're at 78 now. Yeah, so we're keeping pace just barely, um, but that's got to be Lucius uh, striking them. Also, I love that, you know, you can level click damage, but it still says zero. It just doesn't matter. I mean, not that... It's ineffective. They actually make it say zero. It's not like, oh, it just doesn't hurt them. They're immune. Oh. Well. Um, tank gets hit. Damage increases. And then uh, Viconia brings up the resurrected and we clear them all. There we go. <laughs> and then spend gold on increasing damage. Oh, and uh, Nahara reduces the requirements, so we only needed like 17 there, so yeah, that helps. Okay, <laughs> I mean, I saw the boss's health bar, but never actually saw the boss come out there. It's, it's rooted back in the cave there or something. <laughs> I was like, am I going to have enough damage to take out the boss? Uh, because the enemies won't keep spawning. Do I have to spike it or something? No, it worked. So this one's going to be an unfortunate cut because then not only replacing the folks, but then you uh, have to essentially have a full party going forward. So it's who's your alt for damage. Seven. Yep. So we get cut here and then in another 10 levels. So we should, uh, okay, 
Viconia was the highest damage dealer. Now it's Lucius. <laughs> it increases the damage behind the tank, so yes, that is a valid option. Just, uh, I didn't expect the healer to be the highest damage champion. these splits that are always a little tough like I don't want to put in more champions to get through it because they're just going to disappear but there we go ooh <laughs> back to one um, ouch so familiar is off again well We'll put it on the ones they have left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I said, I, I don't know if... Like, you've lost Brunor, but slot one stays there for me. You know, uh, yeah. I want to bring in Dob for last, so maybe I'll do Zorbu? And he can be buffed by Tyrol. Bring in Shandy, yeah. We'll wait on healing there. Bayloth at the end as well. So yeah, Zorbu probably for now. Because that way if he stays in, that's fine. Um, but at the same time, if he, if he disappears, it's not too bad. gonna wait on Briv uh, because his steel bones and stack with enemies so you can farm it up a low if you need to um, the reason I'm reluctant on Kent is um, because oh Dinar would be good. Or a Vitality as well as the Acid. Um, if you don't lose them, then you can't bring them in. So that's one of the annoying things that makes sense. Um, So that's why I'm just a little reluctant here. I'm gonna risk it, we'll see.
So I think the one tank at the front is good. That also allows me flexibility with Jahira. Um, and then I can uh, use these three open slots, bring an Eggbird or Freely or you know something else if needed. So. Yeah, E95 for the enemy. So, uh, not quite a full formation, but we've got plenty of uh, damage area here. And Zorbu is the leader. Good, that's what I wanted. But having two... Um, yeah, Kent's at E20, E120, E126. So he, he's in par with Zorbu. Um, and so that's enough to get um, the enemies cleared. It looks like most of them, for right now, would be hitting the enemies to clear up. But those two should... Uh, was it E102, 104? Yeah. So we've got what, one, two, three, four, five, six, five champions um, that would clear them, and you know maybe eight that are in that ballpark if you get um, damage increases. So. My backup for DPS in this case, if Zorbu goes, is uh, Jahira, because huge self buffer. There we go, all, all feats assigned. I only have the three unlocked here, so. And uh, even Zorbu without any gear, with the uh, tracking, so humanoid kills is EO4, beast kills EO4, undead kills EO4, and so with Seething Hatred, 5,000%, um, it ends up being just Hunter Pack is EO8% uh, for adjacent, um, increase the damage of champions adjacent to Zorbu by EO8 also affects him, so then having him here, good support, and two DPS working together there. Uh, token of Departed, um, Tokens of Departed is EO7 uh, for Kent. So we got basically three more areas, then we get cut again, 70%. Ugh. Acid pool just all over the, the champions, the tank and the healers. Yeah. Ugh. <laughs> Couldn't hold it in there, could you, Dinar? Well, we cleared it. I was trying to see how much damage was needed, but... E125, there we go. We're at E149, so... But again, Orkira is still in there, so, you know. Final push with Jahira here, I guess.
Uh, we'll see how that ends up. Jahira has a few support things. Definitely bringing in Dob. Nova. Now it's the real powerhouses coming out. One, two, one, two. That should put Nova in range of everyone. Yep. So tighten it. Hey, Britt. Uh, doing well, just wrapping up uh, Split the Party 3 gearless. Um, gotta figure out my tank situation. Uh, Egbert, maybe? Briv would work. Steel Bone, self healing. That's great. Uh, there. Uh, Bayloth, definitely. If we have to resurrect them, we will. I don't think we'll need to. Sorry for the pause, just try and think who would be best uh, to bring in. I still think, yeah, Egbert up front, that would work. I'll have to check the team formation for him. Um, Don't want next to damage dealers. Corazon doesn't fit quite right. Unless that'll work. Trying to get it as distant as possible, so that's two people for Corazon. So we've got, then we'll get the grease puddles out there. And... Kroll? Yeah, we'll throw in Kroll, he's just powerhouse there. So we got a full formation now. Um, we don't need gold at this point, so... Now the question is, who do we have for the uh, specializations? Five there. It's the best. Also targets Jahira, so. Seven. Yep. Okay. That works. And who do we have? Chaotic. Chaotic. Uh, neutral. Chaotic. Chaotic. I think we got a chaotic team here. Lawful. Chaotic, chaotic. Yep, so we're going chaotic. In this case, we want him stun, damage, so there we go. Let's see how this works. <laughs> Lost so many champions on that last run. Jahira is a powerhouse, but it takes time to build it back up. But E129 here, and I'm at E40, uh, E1 
150 already. So uh, here we go, we're hitting soft cap. So might as well grab some uh, distractions there with the familiar familiars. Now it's just that final push. I really would have loved to have that team uh, just push through with Sorbu and Kent and such, but 70% lost, it's, it's like 70%? I think I had nine people there and two left, so it seems like it's consistently more than 70%, but... Because it, it should be about two-thirds every third champion. You get to keep one, and it's like... Uh, there was one left and or Kira, and for some reason slot one never gets removed, it seems like. Um, Two-thirds, 66%, rounds up, 70. There you go, right? Or if you prefer, go a little bit higher, three-quarters. But yeah, it does seem like it's on the higher side, three quarters every time. Okay, sure. Can we round down on, on that if they'd be removed and you're not sure, round down? No. <laughs> E165 and they're at E142. So the scaling is different, so I'm not entirely sure what's at 50, but I think we're good. And so this is why I said slot one champion so important because at least for me, they never get removed. So put in Orkira or uh, whoever else you have that's really powerful. I, I prefer Orkira for the early on healing, but also the debuff and such. Um, but just make sure you have that set up. Um, and I don't think I've had it as an evergreen champion. Now I know Letty, you said you had Brunor removed. I've never had the evergreen slot one, so that might be it, but I'm, I don't know why. Um, it could also be I have really interesting luck with slot one, but all the other champions got rotated pretty quick. <laughs> so. The fact that Orkira lasted every cut. Um, I mean, the odds aren't hard, you just take the number and times them together to figure out the, the likelihood. So it's a the likelihood stays in in one event 30%, then it's times that by another 30, 30, so. There we go. Actually, we can get a little more damage from Nova. And still level up the champions above soft cap. This also has the nice effect of unlocking their uh, fourth feat slot. So I'm 
Not like I have a lot of uh, variety with it. But it does unlock that for them, so. Don't want to leave that power on the table here if you can get it for free. Twenty-three thousand. Still going up slightly, okay. One fifty nine, and I'm at one sixty six, okay. Uh, who are the other ones? 175, apparently, for, uh, Jahira, so. Uh, Dinar actually has enough power to damage them, too. Huh. Okay. Hey, if it works, I'm not going to question why um, the healing champions are so high sometimes. Yeah, chaotic, good. And so I'm trying to keep them at bay a little bit if I can. That's where I have Egbert's uh, smoke bombs in there, Corazon's grease puddles, um, Jahira primarily for damage, but can root enemies and such. And so um, if we do run into issues bringing in Bayloth, can, you can do Jin stacking for another E10 uh, damage. So it's not going to be a real problem um, and then you have Briv in there too the more he gets hit the more damage he builds up for the people behind him and so that both Corazon and Briv have continual stacks in that sense and so you can continue to increase the damage of the other champions having Dob in there uh, for each area you pass he has a chance to take gold away, you get a big boost there. Um, he hasn't been in very long, but already... Nope, not very much, but... So, or, no, yeah, yeah, E12, so... Offshore accounting is not a lot of stacks, but he's only been in there for, what, 37 to 49, so 25 percent chance per, so. But still, E12, uh, Jahira being in here is at E10 for class act, E10 percent. Um, and then having five of them, that's an extra E4 percent, and you can stack up persistent focus with the beast and build up more damage that way. It's only at 400% now. But you, you see how this kind of combines to continue to build the power in these final stages if you do need that. And Egbert primarily stalling, but also acts as a healer uh, for the most damaged champion. But most of the healing probably coming from Orkira, but Dinar helps too. Yeah, so we got enough damage, just takes a while to work through everything. There we go. Boss was gone, just had to get rid of that last... Uh, okay, Briv, you just had to jump at the end, just to show off. 
There we go. Completed Split the Party 3 gearless. No gear on Orkira, Bayloth, Briv, any of them. And um, I think it gets, I, I really do think it gets easier the higher you go because the more champions are removed, you know they're gonna disappear so you're starting fresh. If, if it was 100%, you'd put in the champions, have them removed, and you'd have another set of support, healing, and DPS ready. So it almost makes it easier when it's 50% and you don't know, flip a coin, whether they're gonna be there or not, and they're not the DPS you want there, that's kind of hard. And you're doing that with fewer um, achievements and other bonuses, fewer champions just to rotate through typically. So, but there we go, complete. I do like Brib jump at the end, like really, now you jump, you have like a 25% chance to jump or something like that, and just had to show off at the end. There we go.